Good morning, everyone. Later today, Mike and I are planning to go shopping and do some meal prepping because BB Beanie starts tomorrow. I do have a busy day today, so I'm going to take you guys along and do a little bit of vlogging for you. My daughter, Mary, is still getting packages basically on a daily basis. <laughs> They're wedding shower gifts. So something just came in. We got it off the porch. Let's see what it is. Ooh. They're storage containers, Angel's right? Gift. They're like, um, like glass Tupperware containers glass storage lit uh containers with like a bamboo lid that kind of locks on there very nice there's a bunch of different sizes there's 20 of them i think or no it's a 20 piece set so there's probably 10 but they're airtight lately it's been like christmas here every day <laughs> which is super fun for me so Mary and I are just now leaving my mother and father-in-law's house we came over to help change him <laughs> <laughs> you look like a turtle. Help change him. And he, today was bath day, so it took a little bit longer than it normally does. What? Oh, you look like confused for a second. No, I was watching the neighbor. Oh. <laughs> we are headed to an alteration place now to get my dress that I'm wearing for the wedding hemmed. So that's where we're off to first. So one of the things we had to do today, Mary needs five by sevens of all of the parents and grandparents for the wedding. So I had an eight by 10 of Mike and I on our wedding day. Aren't we so cute? Sorry, the lighting's crazy. And then Mike's parents had like a three and a half by five. So we needed to make both of these into five by sevens. So we went to Walgreens. We scanned them and now we have a five by seven of our wedding picture and we have a whoops, it's upside down, five by seven of Mike's mom and dad's wedding picture. So that is done. So as we are at the alterations place, I put on my shoes that I got for the wedding and realized that they are absolutely killing my feet. Like I feel like I may have gotten a size, like half a size too small, which I don't know how that happened. Either that or my feet are swollen, but we are going to go and see if we can exchange these and get a half a size up in the same shoe. 
So we have made a few stops. I did get my shoes exchanged. We stopped at a vineyard because Mary wants to get some, needed some bottles of wine, but they were closed. So we didn't get to do that. We stopped and got the platters that my girlfriend made for the pies. We also stopped at CVS, needed to pick up a couple things there. We are now at the U-Haul store. Mary is looking at renting a U-Haul to get all of the things for the wedding to the venue for the weekend. We have so much stuff that we don't think we can fit it in our vehicles and we don't want to have to each person to have to drive a different car so we think that running a u-haul will be our best bet as far as like getting everything there that's where we're at now it is about quarter after three so mike is going to be home soon after he helps with his parents and he and i are going to hit the store and i will show you guys what we end up getting these are the platters that my girlfriend did. So she thrifted the plates and then she got different height candle holders and attached them to the base. So this will give us like different heights to put the pies on. I'm not sure how many there are, but there's quite a few in here. So we just got home, Mike is here. This is the chicken that I baked up last night. It's just chicken with butter and seasonings. So we're going to have that tonight. I am going to have some mango jalapeno barbecue sauce on mine. I'm not sure what Mike is gonna put on his, but we are going to eat and then we're gonna head out to the store. So we are at BJ's. This is our first stop tonight. Hopefully we can find some things here that are reasonable. We were just looking up prices and like nobody has ground beef on sale. So we may have to go to GFS. I think it's $2.99 a pound there. I think it's going to be cheaper if we just kill our own cow. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> what are you getting? Roast. What kind of roast? Beef roast. <laughs> cow butt roast. It's a rump roast. Yes. So what you have here is your basic naked steak. <laughs> it's a strip steak. Oh, yeah, strip steak, sorry. <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and grab a large package of pork chops and divide them up. We will freeze them. So we will probably eat a couple during this challenge, but then we'll have extra for another time. So we just arrived and we are headed into Aldi. Try another one. <laughs> oh, so there is no bacon. That's why. The bacon we usually get here at Aldi, the never any, they don't have it. They don't have any. They never they, have any. They always have it. This is the first time that's ever happened. Yep. We are going to get some butter here though, because it's $3.29 a pound, which is cheaper than anywhere else. We are going to grab a couple packages of egg life wraps. We will use them as wraps and we will also slice them up and use them as noodles with a roast. So we will go ahead and pick up some of this sliced steaks. It's basically steak of meat. It's 100% pure beef. Look at the ingredients. Beef. Beef. And we will have it with scrambled eggs. We'll make like a mishmash of steak and eggs. So I just looked on Walmart's website and their steakums are actually cheaper per steakum than what they run here. So we're just gonna wait and get those at Walmart. So we are basically just coming into GFS to get our ground beef because there's no stores around us that are having sales or deals right now. Mike's, Mike's got a gun. big log of meat. Oh, that just doesn't sound right. <laughs> That's inappropriate for our family channel. We just pulled into Seven Greens, and this is a place where we always get our hot dogs and our sausages. Sausage links, I guess, or what do you call them? Like brats. They are the Teton or Teton, some people call them, and they are just basically beef and spices. There's nothing else in them, so we are going to get some of those here. So we're just gonna get one pack each. We got the hardwood smoked sausage, 
which is grass-fed beef, water, and then less than 2% of spices, which are sea salt, paprika, vinegar, cultured celery powder, onion powder, smoke flavor, and cherry powder. We are gonna get the Polish sausage, which basically has all the same stuff in it. I don't know really what makes it different. And then we're just gonna get a package of hot dogs. The hot dogs are grass-fed beef, water, and then spices including paprika, sea salt, vinegar, celery powder, garlic powder, cherry powder, and onion powder. That's it. This is the bacon that we're gonna get since we weren't able to get the Never Any at Aldi. This is Mike crawling into the freezer to get the steakums. <laughs> the last one. Well, we got the last two. Still, that was the last one. <laughs> so we're finishing up at Walmart and we're gonna head home and get our food done. Take a nap. It's almost seven o'clock and Let's we still see. have to cook. Bedtime. <laughs> Mike, what did you buy? This is a Chomps venison stick. We've never tried those before. No, didn't even know they made them. It's salt and pepper flavored. Man, is it good. Chomps makes it. It's just like the other sticks, the beef sticks. They had um, a couple other varieties that I'd never seen before, but this is venison. I like venison, and this is really good. What does it say the ingredients are? Can you read them? Yeah, I read them before I bought it, but I've already opened the package, so give me a minute to be able to read them again. It has grass-fed venison, grass-fed beef. They mix the two together, so it's not 100% venison. Sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, cultured celery powder, black pepper, red pepper, garlic powder, Corlander, and it's stuffed in a beef collagen casing. So those would be acceptable on BBB and E on our guidelines. Mm-hmm, it's delicious. Mm. So the large pack of pork chops that Mike and I bought came with 12 pork chops. I've packaged them up into quart sized baggies with four pork chops in each one. And I will put all of these in the freezer. So if we decide we wanna do pork chops, we can pull it out and we will each have two pork chops in a meal. Okay, we got the bacon going. We're cooking up six packages of bacon and that will be for baggy bacon for us to have with meals and bacon pieces for like egg bites. So this is how Mike and I pre-make our hamburgers. Obviously you guys saw that we buy it in a very large tube or however we can get hamburger the cheapest. Then I put press and seal wrap on my scale so that when I'm done, all I have to do is pull that off and throw it out. But then we measure out eight ounces of hamburger meat or pretty close to it. And then we roll it into balls. And then I will show you guys, we have a hamburger press. Then we individually package them. And then that way, when we want hamburgers, we just pull a couple out of the freezer and they cook up and thaw out pretty quickly. So this is what our hamburger press looks like. It is just plastic, it's nothing fancy, but I will show you real quick. You just put the half pound of meat on there, you put this on and you press it down until the lid, see there's still a gap there. I'm gonna press it down until there's no gap between, sorry guys, trying to do this with one hand because Mike's cooking bacon, until there's no gap there. You take that off and there's your hamburger and you just flip it over and there you go one down 19 more to go so here are all the hamburgers completely pressed out and individually packaged they're a half a pound a piece the nice thing about this is we can either just take it out thaw it and cook it as a hamburger or if i decide i want to do like a meatloaf or something i know that each of these is a half a pound i'll grab two of them if i need a pound of ground beef and maybe a pound of pork to mix together and so i know exactly how much is in each package now Mike is cooking up the steak on meat and we will put half of what we cook up into the bottom of one container and then he'll cook up the other half and we'll put it in the other container and then we'll scramble eggs and put that on top of there and then that's going to be our dinner for tomorrow night. We can come home and just warm it up. The steak and eggs are done. Mike just finished cooking those, so I'm just gonna put the lids on. We will put those in the refrigerator tomorrow. We'll heat them up and put on whatever spices or seasonings that we each personally want to add to them. All of our bacon is cooked up and ready to go. 
So Mike does not like hard boiled eggs. I love them, but he doesn't. So I am going to attempt, haven't made these before, to make egg bites that he can just take to work and warm up. So this is just one egg in each one of these muffin spots in a silicone pan. I kind of took a fork and whisked it a little bit just in the pan. And then I added about half a piece of bacon to each one crumbled up. I'm getting ready to put these in the oven and we'll see what happens. I will say that I know he would like those a lot better if I could put cheese in them. Here are the egg bites. I just popped them out of the silicone mold. It's just egg and bacon. So hopefully Mike likes these. I could possibly try to scramble them up better, but I don't need my eggs, my yolks and my whites mixed. I'm totally fine with them being separate, but I will see what Mike ends up saying about these and if he likes them or if he would like me to scramble them up better next time, we'll see. All right, guys, that's it. We are pretty much ready for the week. We're definitely ready for tomorrow and we're ready for bed. It is almost 11 o'clock. We're tired and I still have to edit this video for you guys. So I don't, up tomorrow. I will be going to bed. I will be sleeping soundly and she will be editing videos till the wee hours of the morning. By the way, just so you know, it's snowing in Northeast Ohio. We have snow in the forecast this evening. Mm. Real quick, if you are new here, we referred to baggy bacon earlier. And so we kind of have to- We copyrighted that. You know. It's now a trademark of DDK. You cannot use that yeah. anywhere else. Thought we wanted to kind of explain what baggy bacon is. So when you are meal prepping and you have to take food on the go, when we first started doing keto and beef butter bacon and egg, it was referred to as purse bacon. People would put bacon in little baggies and take it with them, you know, put it in their purse or whatever and take it on the go. I didn't put it in my purse. But Mike did not like that because he doesn't have a purse. And so we just started calling, referring to it as baggy bacon. So we got all of our baggy bacon ready. It's right here. And there's about eight pieces in each bag, which is about four slices of bacon. Right. Because they're about half. The pieces are half. We of, cut everything in half. Yeah. So all of our bacon is ready to go. I already showed you the egg bites. So I'm excited for you to try those. Let's see if that's yeah, something that you would like. Work. I'm taking the whole tray. <laughs> No, I don't think so. And tomorrow, first thing when we wake up, we will be doing a weigh-in. And I will put out a short video tomorrow that will give you our weights as of November 1st. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. And then that way, when our videos come out, including the one tomorrow, you will be immediately alerted to it. That's it for tonight, guys. We will see you in the next one. Good night. Night. Bye.